Jeff Powell and his wife Vicki believe they dodged not one, but two bullets. First, Jeff beat prostate cancer. Plus, because he chose the treatment known as proton therapy, he avoided the miserable side effects that often accompany traditional methods. So I had uh, looked at surgery and I had talked to some friends at uh, a local prostate meeting who had had it and they had a lot of trouble with incontinence and sexual malfunction. And at my age, I just didn't want to live like that. Proton therapy patients have fewer side effects because it only kills the cancer. Traditional radiation therapy works like a bullet, damaging healthy tissue as it enters and exits the body. Proton therapy, on the other hand, is like a firecracker placed inside the tumor. The explosion of radiation damages just the tumor, nothing else. There's no nausea, no burning, and best of all, no organ damage. Everything that worked when I started my treatment works fine now. There are only nine proton therapy centers in all of the United States right now, but another eight are on the way. One of the newest treatment facilities is this one in Hampton, Virginia. This location was chosen in part because this area of the country leads the nation in prostate cancer deaths. I'm halfway through the therapy now, the treatment right now, and it's been a pretty good experience. 45-year-old Craig Fieldings chose proton therapy to treat his prostate cancer. He's come here Monday through Friday for one month and has one more to go. The cost of proton therapy is about three times the cost of traditional treatment, but most insurers, like Craig's, cover the treatment. It's a painless process. There's really nothing to it. I'm in and out and without what, 15 minutes, and I can go back to work. Prostate cancer patients like Craig aren't the only ones who benefit from this breakthrough, according to the center's scientific director, Cynthia Keppel. We treat a lot of prostate cancer, but we also treat a lot of brain, head and neck. Uh, we've treated breast, lung, esophageal. We're looking at pancreatic. We're looking at other kinds of gynecological. It's also important for pediatric patients because kids have a higher probability of, of getting a tumor from stray radiation associated with more conventional radiation therapy. The precision also allows the proton beam to conform to the exact shape of the tumor. Some cancers have up to a 40% better cure rate than traditional treatment. Because we're not generally delivering dose to surrounding tissue, um, you can raise up the dose to the tumor in some cases. That's where you're going to have a probable higher success rate. So some of the head and neck cancers are very much like that. Um, for other cancers, like our prostate cancer patients, the cure rates are comparable to other treatments, but what we're really trying to do is give them a better quality of life afterwards. During treatment, the patient lies in a custom-fitted brace on a machine called a gantry. In an adjoining room, technicians activate the proton beam. No needles, no knives. This is a behind-the-scenes look at the gantry treatment room. The patient is on the other side of that wall. This machine is three stories tall, weighs 90 tons, and costs $8 million. So this is physics. Oncologist Alan Thornton has been using proton therapy since the early 90s. This is a resource to the community and to the nation. It builds upon over 50 years of this therapy, first commencing in Sweden in 1957 and Harvard in 1961. There are many, many generations of uh, physicists and physicians that have uh, worked tirelessly to bring this uh, technology to its current fruition. That work means an answer to prayer for cancer patients who qualify for proton therapy. They can expect to keep more healthy tissue while escaping certain side effects associated with conventional therapy. Now that it's over, if I had to do that again, hands down, that would be the way I would go. Lori Johnson, CBN News.